Hello, I is Philomena Alexis Batiste, and this is my OMG interview. Well, as you know, I has this my all-purpose cleaner, right? So right now, I is between distributors. I is looking for a distributor. If you want to distribute my product, call me now. You understand me? Because you're getting a nice um, markup and margin for yourself, right? So I has this lavender and I has this pine. And so far, it's selling good, but I needed to sell better, right? Plus, I has this a breakfast show on IETV that's supposed to be starting back uh, in September. And then I just do Meals on a Budget on Cup of Joe, which is on TV6. So I, I try to keep myself active, you understand? Plus I have a catering business, you understand? And my little job in the corporation, right? Well, first to begin, the Bible does tell you, you can't worry about what coming. You have to study what happening today. You understand? Because tomorrow go have its own problems. So focus on today. And then my overriding philosophy is that you can't be watching other people. That caused a total loss of race. You understand what I'm saying? He was watching to see where Frankie Frederick was instead of focusing on his race. And I believe you got to keep focusing on your race. Don't mind if your neighbor build a big upstairs house. You ain't know how they get the money. You understand? Study how you get your money and focus on what you want to achieve. And don't study nobody else because Nobody else is not living your life or paying your bills. Hello. All right. Well, I really from Gonzales, right? A lot of people know that. Right now, I live in Kumana. You understand? And I really enjoy the sea breeze. You understand? But we used to get a nice breeze up in Gonzales. So what <clears throat> happened with me was, well, it was plenty of weed because, you know, a long time, it didn't have no cable. You understand? It didn't have no stereo. So what are your parents doing? So I end up with a set of brother and sister. You understand what I say? So I went primary school, I did not pass common entrance, you understand? So I went in post-primary and I learned very good trades there, like needlework, um, cross-stitch, different things, cooking, all that we used to do. And then I come out in the job market and my first job I get, well, was as somebody domestic, you understand? Cooking and cleaning. And then when she make child, I take care of the children and it was good for a while. But I of myself know that I wanted to be in control of my life then, if you understand. I didn't like to work for people, you understand. I always wanted to turn my own hand, that kind of thing, you understand. And I has work, I make five children, you understand, with three different child fathers that none wasn't good, you understand me. But, uh, 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 how do they say, burn the midnight oil, you understand what I say. And my sisters and them really helped me when the children was growing up. and. We make it, you understand? And I'm pleased to say that my first three children has done tertiary education, you understand? And then go ahead and go through what I'm going through, you understand what I'm saying? Except now in Trinidad and Tobago, even though it has a degree, that don't mean nothing because it has no work, you understand what I'm saying? So I think what I is really telling my children now is, okay, you see you get a degree, but you need a skill because the people who work in, in this um, economy, it's people who has it a skill, a trade. If it's a carpenter, um, if it's a welder, then it's the people getting work, you understand? So I was telling people, think about a trade, you understand? Everybody I had to go to university. Well, my best time was when I met my current um, significant other, Lester. I had given up on love, you understand? After three deadbeat child father, and you know, they ain't seen you and they ain't seen each other. I had given up on man. I didn't think a man like Lester could have exist. And I think as I was mature, you understand, I meet Lester after Booksy finished secondary school, Booksy my last child. And I was in a different place. And also I in the menopause. So I feel free I know I had a risk of making no more children. So I I feel better right now. I feel like I uh as a full woman, I understand life and I could enjoy a relationship. My worst time was when my second son, Michael, well, he's part of a twins I have, is Michael and Michaela. Um, but when I find out that he, well, not that I find out he gave, but what happened was I catch him on the road making fears. You could imagine, dress up as a woman, my child. No, I have to admit, when Michael was a little boy, he used to play with his sister dolls. He liked to play dress up. Not, well, I can't say his father clothes because his father wasn't there, but you know, he liked to play dress up. And I did kind of say, you know, maybe, but he was still small and he'd have grown out. 
So when I meet him that day, making the fairs on Murray Street, dress up like a woman, listen to me. Listen to me, the earth could have opened and take me, you understand? But is my child. And I say, whether he black, pink, green or blue, he's my child, I love him. So we work with it, we see a therapist, what not, what not, and I realize things had transpired in he youth that I didn't even know about, you understand? And now, thing nice, I, you see, when you find, you, you figure out your child gay or the transgender or whatever, I think what a lot of parents are really worry about is not how it go look, you know, but it's how the society going to treat your child. You understand what I say? And it has all kind of people out there, they want to kill your child because he wearing a sneakers they want. You understand what I said? So it's really I was worried about how the society would have treat he. But you know what is the most important thing? My child Michael, he could be gay, he could be whatever, but he happy. And that is the most interesting, the most important thing. He is happy. And once my children happy, well, any number could play. Now I just want to tell all of this because out here is a different kind of, how did I call it? Um, a kind of different vibe is running right now. So what I want to tell all of you, whether it's politics, whether it's your priest, your pundit, your imam, your neighbor, your man friend, your woman friend, your child, it don't matter. What I will tell you is what my father tell me. And he uses to say, people could say anything. You understand? Watch what they do. So a politician could say, we is not corrupt. That don't mean nothing. You understand? He says so. Or she says so. But that don't mean it has to be so. Watch what they do. You understand? And that is how I just move with people. You could tell me what you want. I watch you know you're moving. You understand what I say? Because people don't say anything. People don't lie. You understand? So watch people action, not what they say. Recently, I had a girlfriend. She was in a relationship for eight years and then the man leaves. She because he finds Jesus. At least that's what he tells she, you understand? I tell she, I said, well, girl, at least it was the next woman, you understand? And Jesus is only in spirit, right? But she was so upset, right? That she tell me she's not having an extra um, relationship and all this kind of thing. Because somebody leaves the relationship, you go in and lock up yourself like one of them none? Hello. I want to tell you, no matter what age you is, you understand? Whether you could walk, you can't walk, you have teeth, you have teeth, nothing, it don't matter. If you find love, you go with your love. You understand what I'm saying? Because this life is a journey. It's not a destination you are supposed to reach. And plenty of people is saying they're in a relationship and they're not happy. So I'm telling you right now, if seeing somebody make you happy and you're 99, go through hard because we're supposed to keep living until we die. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe in love. I believe in love. Because I was looking for that. Looking fine, man. I was really afraid of how we politicians is running this country because I just say it ain't gonna have nothing for the children as it stands now, right? I just ask plenty of people who I just work for, the children went to university, they get one degree, two degree, three degree. And I said to myself, okay, we have all these educated people here, but where is the work for them? You understand what I'm saying? Because can you realize your dreams here? Because I don't know if anybody's dream is. My dream in life is to get a good job. That is your dream? Well, me and you, you understand what I say, right? So, I just know, I, I, I worry and I concern if my children could fulfill their ambition, live their dream in this country. You understand what I say? And I don't want them to dream about having a good job. You understand? That can't be a dream. You understand? That could be a, a life goal. But not a dream, you understand? Right. My OMG moment came recently. I was watching Morning Edition. A morning, of course, it's called Morning Edition. And um, a minister, um, the one with the Rasta, I can't remember his name, right? Anyway, he was on Morning Edition and he is telling the host of Morning Edition that the government has been borrowing money to pay public servant salary. And I said, but well, wait now, it's better we get a Syrian government in here because no government, no right-minded business person 
will be saying that they're borrowing money to pay salary because when you borrow, you have to pay back. And what are you doing to generate money to pay back? You understand what I say? And he said it with a smile on his face like it was a good thing. And I'm saying, but nobody in the trend are not hearing this. So my OMG moment was like, oh my God, how could he say this on TV with a smile like it's a good thing? Where is I really living? You understand? Because anybody could tell you that when you borrow, you just have to pay back. And if you borrow to pay people's salary, what is you earning it back from? You had to borrow to and know that you're paying back from money you're earning from something like, uh, let me see, diversification of the economy, those kind of things. You understand? Well, I want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching my little interviews a long time since I do an interview. I'm feeling special. I feel like I'm a star. I'm not a monster. Eh? Well, you're right. I know all the training, right? Anyway. Um, I on social media, yes, I have this my Facebook fan page, so you just have to look for Philomena Alexis, but he's a public figure. I send only to that page because I can't take no, no more on my profile page. I have this over 5,000 friends and family, you understand what I say? Then you can find me on the hot Instagram at Holy Dog, and then you can find me on the hot Twitter at Holy Dog, you understand? It's not on Snapchat and them kind of thing, you understand? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you can find me, right? And well, you can email me because you can find my email on any one of them things, right? Or message me. Nothing rude, eh? no rudeness, right? I have this a man already, right? <laughs> right, and don't forget, buy my product, eh? It's in fine supermarkets everywhere. True value, food giant, you understand? Fellow clean, it's working good. It's by SV.com.